Hello. Okay, so for the basic technique of basic uh, backgrounds, we're going to need our jelly plate. And mine happens to be a large one. It comes from Jelly Arts. We're going to need some paint. And I happen to like to use basic craft paint. I showed you several brands. It doesn't matter which brand. Um, the basic craft paints are, they dry quickly and uh, you have the opportunity to go over them with other things. You're also going to need a brayer, which is what I'm doing right now is braying out the um, paint. You noticed I put daubs of paint. I have um, scrap paper over to my right so that I can roll off my paint. Now I'm just putting an extra sheet over the top, keep my hands clean. I don't normally do it this way. At the end of this video, I will show you how I do it. Uh, just simply because I just don't waste the paint on a scrap paper. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about later. But that is the basics. You just put the paint down, you roll it out, and you pick it up with a piece of paper. Now that was um, co uh, copy paper, which I happen to love. And that happens to be legal size, which I also like because I like the size of it. Um, again, you don't want too much paint. You want um, a small amount of paint. You, uh, When I'm trying to do sort of an ombre effect, I do kind of put two colors on there and then I roll it into one another. Um, if you get too much paint, it can make it kind of soggy and it's hard to work with. Now, today I'm using several different kinds of paper for you. That happens to be pattern tissue for sewing patterns and um, I, I just wanted to show you you can do this on multiple kinds of paper um, that other sheet is just a scrap paper I'm keeping my hands clean with and this is giving you a basic background basic color palette kind of thing you can use these papers for a lot of different things that way you can go on with other things as I said you need a brayer uh, I prefer a soft rubber brayer just simply because it seems to work better for me. You need scrap paper off to the side so that you can get the paint off your brayer. Now I don't have too much trouble with mud, but you do want to think about your colors when you start mixing them together. Uh, know your um, color um, wheel. This is deli paper. And deli paper is fantastic because it pulls the paint off of your um, jelly plate real well. Now, my jelly plate is not new. It doesn't look new, and I'm not worried about it. I don't actually clean my plate a lot. I tend to leave my plate um, very messy. Um, I like the brayer marks in things, so I don't worry about it. If you if you don't like those brayer marks and you're doing something specific, some technique that really matters, you need to be careful and not get too much paint and uh, roll your brayer off consistently. Um, now, my plate comes from Jelly Arts. There are multiple brands of um, jelly plate. And like I said, mine is, what, three years old or so, and uh, I, I use it a fair amount. Um, this is an old book paper. Now, I can also tell you old book paper is not all the same, so be careful, because if you get something that's really old, it might stick. Um and the craft paint is a little better about not doing that than, say, a heavy-bodied um, acrylic paint. But I really like the paint over the um, text, the text of the, a book paper. Now, to me, these prints aren't finished. They're either pieces of paper for collage that I can tear up for collage, or they're papers to do something else with. Um, say doodle on that was a paint blob that was dry that was on my paint bottle that came off there um, the just a basic background is is what I would just start with and start adding things to 
um, if I was making painty papers. And that's another piece of pattern tissue. Now it just so happens that when you do this technique with um, the, the scrap piece of paper, and that's just a great big piece of, of copy paper, um, you end up with this really cool uh, piece that's got a bunch of different colors on it, which I kind of like. I also use my um, brayer paper to do things with. And, and we'll add layers and things to the brayer paper later. Um, I can't remember what paper I have left to show you. I just really this time wanted to show you the basics. You put some paint on. Don't overdo the amount of paint, as I said. Um, another reason I like the craft paint is it dries real fast, so you can go over it. If I didn't say that already, I might have said that already. Um, this is how I usually do my backgrounds. I squash paint all over the plate. See, I've covered the whole plate. I've used three colors. I've It's splotchy. Um, now I'm going to take multiple pieces of paper. I don't put it on the whole piece. I put part here, part there. I, you can use different kinds of paper. Um, and I just kind of layer it up, sort of, sort of layering things over and over. And what I would do is then I'm going to only do this one time to, to make this video nice and short, but I would use those same papers and I would just put it down on another section where it wasn't already painted. Um, and see, I've got a little, it's, it's sort of like patchwork. And I often do patchwork papers this way. Um, even when I get to doing other techniques, I will patchwork up my papers like that. It eliminates that um, scrap paper laying over the top, but that's okay with me. And here are our, our finished papers. These are basic background papers or papers you can tear up for collage. Um, that was the copy paper. This is the deli paper. This is a piece of the tan um, pattern paper for sewing patterns. Now I have this white pattern paper and it's just more pattern tissue paper. You could use plain tissue paper and the book page. Um, plain tissue paper works just fine. And this is my beginnings. And see, I would just take those papers and later lay them on the jelly plate. And that's one reason why I like that uh, craft paint. It dries real quick and I can go on to the next layer or, you know, kind of thing. Um, I hope that this was helpful and I hope the series is going to be fun. I will be putting a link to the um, playlist.